you outrank me. I don't believe I outrank anyone, really. I mean, surely those of rank have some power. Well, you are be craving power, Princess. I'll have to keep an eye on you. No, I just like to be able to make decisions in my life. Hi, I'm Kate Hahn with TV Insider, and we're speaking with the cast of Becoming Elizabeth. Hi, Kate. Alicia, Alicia Van Rydberg, you play Elizabeth when we meet her when she's a teenager. She's not the queen yet. Um, just tell us how old she is and describe how she sees this crazy English court. How does she see it through her eyes? Um, well, she's 14 when we meet her. Um, and she is just like dropped into this void, I think, when her father dies. That is just like incredibly dangerous and scary and yet exciting and tempting um and i think she knows exactly who she is and how to play by the rules but yet she is a young girl who just wants to you know experience life and and make her own decisions and not be influenced by her family so i think it's always like this play between just being a young girl trying to find her place in the world and and duty and growing up as a, as a as a princess right well she she's living with her stepmother Catherine Parr and her stepfather Thomas Seymour uh tell us about her relationship with them it gets pretty complicated i think she uh is a bit suspicious when she first moves in because um yeah she knows that they um, might take her in as a like pawn basically um, but she's still and I think that's with every relationship in the series and what is so smart about the script she still loves them so there is no black and white there is no villain and the hero um, I think it's relationships which are so complex and therefore so real. Hi, Hi Tom Cullen. Nice to see you. It's nice to see you too. Um, I, you play Thomas Seymour in the show and Jessica Rain, you play Catherine Parr and they form a very interesting little family with uh, the teenage Elizabeth. Um, <laughs> Jessica, can you talk about <laughs> Catherine Parr's history with Elizabeth? Uh, yeah. Um, so uh, Catherine is, was married to Henry VIII. Um, Elizabeth is Henry's daughter. And she's instrumental in bringing Elizabeth back into the fold of the family. And then Henry dies at the beginning of this series. And Catherine invites Elizabeth to stay with her at her palace and also marries Thomas Seymour with unseemly haste after becoming, um, having become a widow. Uh, so it's quite a heady mix, uh, and almost straight away, Thomas Seymour's head is turned by Elizabeth, and she's a real innocent in the world of politics, in the world of sexual relationships, and she, during the course of this series, I'd say it's safe to say she gets corrupted, unfortunately, um, but it sort of forms how she will rule England when she does finally become queen. Why does she never marry? She's, she rules with such a strong hand. She's, it's, it's about her formative years. And um, we've not really seen that before. No, we haven't. Family, all right. It's a weird little family that they... <laughs> Well, Tom Cullen, you, you play Thomas Seymour, who, as uh, Jessica mentioned, uh, his head is turned by the young Elizabeth. Um, and, you know, we want to hate you in this role, but you're so charming. So uh, talk about Thomas Seymour and, and how he kind of operates in this court. Yeah, he is um, definitely the most complex character I've, I've ever played before. Um, he's a hothead. He's passionate. Um, he's definitely led with his heart and his groin um, rather than his head. Um, but he's also very tender, very loving. And I guess kind of ironically, he really respects women, especially his wife. Um, but he's also morally, morally uh, very uh, bankrupt um, and uh, selfish and takes what he wants. Uh, Rama Lagara, you play Mary Tudor, who is Elizabeth's sister. 
tell us about the tension between those two sisters. Um, sure. Well, they have a really fascinating relationship, uh, Mary Tudor and um, Elizabeth, as uh, became Elizabeth I, um, because uh, they were raised together. They were actually quite close, I think, when they were they were brought up. I mean, there's quite an age gap between them, but um, Mary certainly had a lot to do with raising her younger sister in terms of her education. And, and they lived together for a lot of the time that they were growing up. But obviously with the death of their father, Henry VIII, and the kind of re- um, focusing on his legacy and who who would be continuing the throne that pits them against each other because uh, Mary was a very committed Catholic and Elizabeth was raised Protestant and Mary never really recognized Elizabeth as you know the true and rightful daughter of her father because she understood that her father had illegally divorced her mother in order to marry Anne Boleyn so that brought out considerable level of tension in the relationship but I think Anya's done an amazing job of very truthfully representing a sisterly relationship relationship um, which involves a lot of love a lot of suspicion great deal of anger but also you know the, the, and all of those things kind of existing alongside each other rather than the relationship being a kind of one-dimensional thing well as you mentioned I mean Elizabeth is she she's around a lot of people who are older than she is she doesn't have a lot of peers and uh, Jamie Blackley, you play Robert Dudley, who really is her mm -hmm. around her age. And he's her friend, maybe more. Historically, he certainly was. Tell us about him and their relationship. Well, he, Robert is, is a childhood friend of Elizabeth's. And, and I think we decided that maybe they hadn't seen each other for a few years and, uh, before they first come across each other in the series. Um, and yeah, like you say, he is her peer. He is... He is, uh, you know, a voice of truth that isn't afraid to tell her what he thinks. He and he has no kind of uh, political, you know, interest in her. Um, it, he is just a friend who who likes her as a person, and they're almost on this kind of journey together, figuring out who they are and who they want to be, and and how and how they feel. Um, so yeah, it was really exciting to 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 be kind of a different voice in the in the series to her. Becoming Elizabeth premieres June 12th on Stars. For more insider videos like this, click subscribe.